Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Exciting week on the channel. I just got a RetroTink 5X, which is going to make my real vi retro video games look a lot better for you guys. I can still play on my CRT at the same time, which is really damn cool. Or I can play on the monitor, whatever I feel. It just gives me more flexibility. Uh, if you look behind me, I've actually got a Pentium 4 computer that I had 20 years ago all set up again. It's all working. I've got a um, really cool thing done to it. Uh, the IDE drive, which was a mechanical hard drive, I replaced that with an IDE to SATA converter that takes it and makes it a lot faster. So I've got an SSD in there now, solid state drive. Really damn cool. Super excited to be able to do that. Uh, we've been adding a lot of stuff to the back here to try to make things look a lot nicer. Uh, we've got a few pickups and stuff for games, that kind of thing. But yeah, it's really exciting to um, be a little bit more active than I have been. I uploaded a Cuphead video today, actually, uh, the Mexican runner who I'm sure all you Cuphead folks know, asked me to make a quick video on EX Spam so that you can speed up your EXs, which was, no, I took no effort at all, just made it, right? But really exciting times coming up on the channel, guys. Um, I want to be able to speak to you guys one-on-one -on -one more often, probably weekly. I've been saying that, but I need to get around to doing it. I also wanted to take a moment uh, while I'm here. I might as well make some value on the video. So I'm going to go through my top five Super Nintendo games. Starting at number five, guys, Secret of Mana. That is my um, definitely my number five. Three player with multi-tap. Really cool action RPG. Cool combat. Great music. That kind of thing. I've reviewed it and played it on the channel. I'm not going to really get into it. That's number five. Number four may surprise you. It may not. Final Fantasy 3 or Final Fantasy 6, depending where you are in the world. Uh, this game is like playing a movie. Um, the opening cinematic is just its just perfection. It was nothing done like that back then, especially on 16-bit systems. Uh, this All these carts are legitimate, guys. No repros here. Really cool. Number three, you've seen me play this game a lot. Super Mario RPG. Um, I still like this version a lot. I do have the Switch version, of course. However, there's just something about this. This really pushed the envelope and the limitations of the hardware. Um, going back and playing it today, it's still a fantastic game. One of the best ones on the Super Nintendo for sure. Super Mario RPG. Number two might surprise you a little bit. Number two. And if you've never played it, you've been living under a rock. Secret of Evermore. This game hits hard, man. It's a single player game. There is a ROM hack for it that's cooperative. But um, yeah, Secret of Mana, Secret of Mana, kind of set the bar for this game. This one feels a lot more experimental. Um, the story is very different. It's about a boy and his dog. They land on this mysterious island after a disaster, sort of thing, and it just goes from there. And the dog evolves. The music's fantastic. I just this game hits hard. I love it. Absolutely love it. And number one, of course, guys, for anybody that knows me, my favorite game of all time, Chrono Trigger. Yep, I can't say enough good things about this. So many endings. Amazing game. If there ever is a remake on this game, I hope to God it's actually done, done justice. I think 2.5D is the way to go. Music's incredible. Graphics are incredible. Combat system is just unbelievable. And uh, it's a very personal game for me. So yeah, guys, uh, like I said, RetroTink. That's going to be exciting to be able to do for you guys because I can actually upscale all of my consoles. Uh, I've got some SCART connections coming, which I've never dealt with SCART before. I know that you people over in Europe and uh, the United Kingdom and stuff have dealt with SCART. But us Canadians, we never dealt with SCART at all. It was just like, it didn't exist. We did Composite. Um, S-Video came along later. But it was basically RF and Composite. And if you didn't have the inputs, you ran it through a VCR. So you, you just got horrible quality across the board. Yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to uh, let you know what was going on, throw in a little bit of a trivia there with the uh, top five RPGs from Squaresoft, for, for me anyways. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a fantastic time, guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out this video where I go through my top 30 Super Nintendo games. And that was a passion project. I think you're going to love it. Bye, guys.